There's a car waiting to take you to the airport. You'll be put on the first flight back to New York. You can't send us home. My brother needs our help. Your brother needs to maintain his cover, which is impossible with you here interfering. The least little distraction could prove deadly. Now, you of all people should understand that, Detective. Well, I understand you need to identify the Balkan. So you sent Lucky into an operation with no prep time, which is a suicide mission. He needs backup. May I remind you that this is an Interpol operation? If Detective Spencer needs backup, if Interpol Lucky will needs provide backup, him with he was backup. already in a shootout with the Balkans' men. Thankfully, Dante was there to level the playing field. Detective Falconeri has no jurisdiction here. Now, if you want to hang on to that badge of yours, I would suggest that you walk out to the car. Now, both of you. Otherwise, I will have you escorted in handcuffs. I swear I'm going to murder Chrissy. She was supposed to be here to make it look like we all met by accident so I could spontaneously ask you to the party. I'm sorry, what, what party was it? The one I'm having on Saturday. My parents are going out of town for the weekend and they said I could have some people over. My friend Nate's going to DJ and I wanted you to come. Oh, um... Uh, I, I asked Chrissy if she would ask you, but she said I had to do it myself. So then I wanted your email, but she said we could all meet at Kelly's. I, I don't know if, if she, you know, got stuck with Taylor or if she bailed on purpose to give us a chance to talk alone. Uh, but I've obviously made a total fool of myself. No, you didn't. It's, it's, it's fine. Look, and I, um, I, I just, are you sure you want me at your party? I mean, I won't know anybody except for you and Christina. Um, Chrissy already said she couldn't come. I, I think she feels weird socializing after everything that's happened with Kiefer. Maybe you feel that way, too. If if I made you uncomfortable at all by asking, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, stop it. Okay, it's fine. Uh, you don't... I really appreciate you asking me, Allie, and I'll, um... I'll be there. Okay? But I have to leave by 11 and have a curfew. No problem. No, I will set an alarm on my cell and shove you out the door in time to make it home. Okay. I promise. Uh, here, give me your number. I'll text you my address. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. Okay, um, well, I'll see you Saturday? Yeah, I'll see you. I'm Diane Miller. I'm Sonny's attorney. Not for long. Ernesto Cartulo is a genius with impeccable taste. Yes. That gown that he designed for you for the Costume Institute Gala, well, it was to die for. Thank Not you. three women in the world could have worn that dress, and yet you look flawless. Well, thank you. <laughs> Diane, we're in the middle of something. Would you mind terribly if I just borrowed Sonny for the teensy? No, part? actually, that's fine, because I was just leaving. No, no, Diane actually was just leaving. Actually, I do need to speak to you about something of critical importance. Diane, we're going to do that later. Go ahead and go now. Thank you. Well, it was just lovely meeting you. <laughs> and may I say that I'm a big fan of Murphy Sinclair. I consider him to be the thinking woman's leading man. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. So sorry about this. Don't worry about it. We, uh, so where, uh, where, where were we? Just saying goodbye. You up for visitor? Charts, I'm pretty sure that's a conflict of interest. Well, Steve knew that I'd be climbing the wall, so he had Maya bringing my test results. And? She's dehydrated. We're treating her with fluids. You should be ready to leave by tomorrow. All right. Well, that's not too bad. All things considered. What happened with Lisa? They took her to Shady Brook. And Emma, she's okay? She's at home with Judy. Mac went to go check on her. He's gonna come by and say hi once you get a little rest. So, that's it. It's really over. What are you thinking about? You wanna know what I regret? Not going to Rome to see you sooner. 
Really? We haven't exactly been pining over me all these years. Apparently you've been involved, very seriously involved, with a lot of other people. Well, you know, I've had great relationships, but ours was uh, special. It was special. It was also messy and complicated. I mean, when it was good, it was, it was the best ever, but when it was bad, I was sick with pain. We hurt each other in the worst ways possible. Why don't we find a way not to hurt each other? No, why and not? learn from our uh, mistakes, I just, you know? Just, I, I, I need to live my life, and I think it's the best thing for me to let you live yours. If you didn't want to see me, you would have sent Jason away. Oh, well, that's true. I could have sent Jason over to tell you it's been a great ride. I don't send people to speak for me. I came to tell you this myself. No, you came here because you wanted me to change your mind. one point where everything went black. I think I was slipping in and out of consciousness and uh, Stone was there. <sighs> he was actually in the well with me and I, I, I couldn't figure out if I was dreaming or if he was real. <sighs> I wish I would have been there for you. You saved my life. All Stone did was made me realize how much I had to live for. You know, and... how much I still love you. I don't think I'll ever understand why I slept with Lisa. It's the biggest regret of my life. And I'm so sorry that I broke our vows, that I, I broke your trust. Robin, you and Emma, you mean the world to me. And I love you so much. I know. But love wasn't enough to keep you from cheating. And I'm not sure that it's enough to make me want to stay in our marriage. Drove us to the airport and put us on the plane. Did they really have to watch what we put on our seatbelts? I just want to make sure we're actually going to leave the country. <sighs> I'm surprised they didn't escort us all the way back to New York. There's a lot of emergency exits on the plane. Aren't they worried that we're going to make a break for it down the tarmac? Well, there's probably an air marshal on board, so unless you want to see what it feels like to get tasered, now is probably not the best time. It's just so ridiculous. For. They're treating us like criminals when Interpol could get Lucky killed. Look, Lucky's got good instincts. If something's not looking too good, he'll lay low for a while. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can tell Lucky's going through a lot, which may not make his instincts reliable. And if Interpol hadn't forced him into posing as Ronan, I think he would have volunteered. So, you're really upset about the fact that Lucky gets to once again live the life of adventure and you're Ugh. stuck going home with me. I would be happy with you anywhere. Well, that's, that's a good answer. Going home means going back to reality, which means he is going to want a summary of all the full magazines and hot trends and... Yo, let me get that for you. Oh, what about this? <laughs> How to rate your passion quotient. What are you looking at? You know what the biggest problem was? In our relationship. It was trust. No trust. Look, here we are almost a decade later and you still don't believe that what I am saying to you is the truth for me. What I, what I do believe is that you don't want to get hurt and you're holding back. And that's why you're making up any kind of excuse you okay, can. Okay, so, so you're right. We don't have another chance. Yeah, you're right, I'm afraid. So maybe I'm a little bit afraid because I know it can't work between us. And I know that no matter what we do to try to make it work, things are always going to fall apart for us. I 
told, I told myself the same thing, that we're better off apart. But things changed when I walked in here, and we're doing this thing over again. And, and timing is, is crazy. But I, there's a connection. And, you know, all the good intentions in the world can't match. What we've, what we've always felt for each other.